The Chicago White Sox are having a terrible season. They're almost 30 games under 500, which makes them one of the worst teams in baseball. They traded a few of their best players. Their shortstop, Tim Anderson, who's supposed to be really good, is having the worst year of his career and recently got knocked out in a fight after starting that fight in front of everyone to see. The team recently just fired two front office members in Kenny Williams and Rick Hahn, with Williams being a guy who had been with the organization for more than 30 years while also being the general manager when the team won it all in 2005. Han had been the general manager since 2012, and if you thought things couldn't get any worse, fans were just recently shot inside of Guaranteed Rate Field, the ballpark the White Sox call home. If you're part of the 70% of viewers not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button and join the wonderful subscribers of the channel, as it's apparently not even safe to sit innocently at a White Sox game anymore. The White Sox were taking on one of the only teams that are actually worse than them, the Oakland A's, and still got absolutely pummeled, losing the game 12-4 and to make matters even worse for the fans in attendance. The free concert that featured Vanilla Ice that they were all promised would take place after the game got cancelled, with the team announcing it on the ballpark video screen and saying the cancellation was due to technical difficulties, and that was as far as they went with the explanation. Fans started to boo, with others suggesting that they storm the field, with the entire crowd eventually chanting, sell the team. So the White Sox get crushed, the post-game concert is cancelled, fans are pissed, and so wait, when was the shooting? When were bullets hitting people? Oh, that happened back in the third inning. It happened in section 162, which is out around left field, when all of a sudden a couple of women were wounded by gunshots. Tom Miller, a fan who was at the game when it happened, claimed that he was two rows behind the shots and didn't see or hear anything, but all of a sudden a woman started to bleed from her leg. Security soon came and ushered the fans in that section away from their seats and up to section six, where they apparently stayed for about 45 minutes. It happened just two rows in front of me and there was no one right in front of us. Uh, all of a sudden, this lady just was started bleeding from her leg and there was at least two of them in a row that got hit maybe a third, I know two for sure, and uh, it was bleeding and all of a sudden security was there and they kicked us out. Again, this happened in the third inning and the game somehow just continued on. That's what's so odd about this. There was never any crazy panic. Hell, the vast majority of the fans at the game had no idea this even happened when it did, and it continued to be that way until hours later when we all found out. The White Sox eventually released a statement saying, quote, It is unclear to investigators whether their shots were fired from outside or inside the ballpark. The incident continues to be investigated by Area 1 detectives from the Chicago Police Department. While the police continue to investigate, White Sox security confirms that this incident did not involve an altercation of any kind. End quote. There was also at no time believed that there was any active threat. Just very confusing. Two women were shot, nobody really heard it. One of the women actually refused any medical attention. The game continued, most of the fans at the game had no idea. The players, no idea. The game just went on into its completion without any further issue. Some fans who were at the game told ABC7 that they believe the shooting may have actually started with an argument between two men, though police have not confirmed any of those details. I'm just so lost. How would it even be possible for weapons to be brought into the stadium? Like, how is that even a possibility? Is this the security? Next. Arms up. You good? I got a bag. Let me see that. You good? Next. Uh oh, no outside food or drink, sir. I'm sorry. That's what? It. And if the shots came from outside of the stadium, how is that also even possible for the bullets to somehow make their way down to fans sitting in the stands? Thankfully, nobody suffered any life-threatening injuries, and as of now, the investigation is still ongoing. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.